Praise the Lord. Good afternoon. Greetings in the mighty name of Jesus. It is a great joy and privilege once again, beloved and friends, to be here this Tuesday afternoon to minister the word of God. I trust the Lord everyone is in good health and happiness regardless of our situation in the world. As I always say, beloved and friends, that we are living in a very sick and sinful world. But Jesus Christ himself promised, he says, Lo, I am with you always. I will never leave you nor forsake you even unto the end of this world isn't that awesome today isn't that great isn't that mighty that God himself promised to be with us in every situation in every circumstances in every trial in every testing in every storm in every decision making he said in his words a thousand shall fall at thy side and ten thousand at thy right hand but no evil shall befall thee and no plague shall come by thy dwelling welcome this afternoon let's give a big hand God bless you, we say happy Kari Kom Day to every all Guyanese. I wish you all the best on this holiday, on this Kari Kom holiday. God bless you richly. Sincerely from my heart, I release a blessing upon everyone's lives today. And I pray that God will bless you physically, spiritually, socially, materially, financially, educationally, every area in your life. And whatever you do with your two hands, it shall prosper. Let me break it down today. I pray that God will bless your home that God will bless your marriage God will bless your children he will bless your grandchildren he will bless you on the job yes he will bless your finances he will bless your business he will bless you in the job give you favor and promotion on the job and whatever you do with your two hands it shall prosper in Jesus name let's give the Lord a big hand yes Jesus Christ is a loving and great and wonderful and mighty God I give you praise and thanks today this day oh father i cover everyone all the believers under the blood of jesus and i build a hedge around your life for the blood of Jesus is so efficacious and the blood of Jesus is so powerful. The blood of Jesus is a repellent that destroys every yoke and every bondage and every fetter and every evil and every work of darkness. Today, every spirit of witchcraft, obia, demonic forces, evil blights, generational curses, whether for second third or fourth generational curse, I break and I destroy under the precious blood. I break every chain, I break every barrier, I break every evil, every scam, and every work of darkness that come against your life. I destroy under the blood of Jesus, for the blood of Jesus is powerful today. I thank you for victory and healing. Also, Jesus said in his words, in healing is the children bread, and the first covenant he made with man was the covenant of healing, for he was wounded for our transgression he was bruised for our iniquities the chastisement of our peace was upon him and with his stripes I'm healed you are healed we are healed in Jesus name let's give him a big hand today <laughs> hallelujah praise God thank you Jesus God bless God blessings be upon your life today praise the Lord thank you Jesus let's turn to our Bibles today you supposed which you supposed to have Romans chapter 5 verse 8 through 10 clearly tells us this day my friends if you turn to it quickly yes my friends we can go through the word but God commanded his love towards us in that while we were yet sinners Christ died for us much more my friends than being now justified by his blood we shall be saved from wrath through him hallelujah praise god if for when we were enemies we were reconciled to god by the death of his son much more being reconciled today we shall be saved by his his life hallelujah praise god this uniqueness of his the love of god is something which we will never truly understand today yes my friends god's supernatural love is demonstrated irrespective of merit today 
this is completely different to human love human love is given to those who are lovable however today the, the love of God loves love those who are unlovable it loves those who are lovable yes it took me a while to learn that that, that it took me a while yes my friends to learn that it took me a while to learn the extent the extent in which God loves people today uh, who I personally see as enemies uh, as scam as crooks uh, it took me a while to learn the extent uh, in which God loves people whose society will categorize categorize as unlovable society today deems to so many people as unlovable for one reason or another yet God loves those people human love tends to be swayed swayed by the person who is the object of the love beloved and friends as human beings we are beings are inclined to love people who love us as a result we tend to act attribute this human kind of love to God itself we think that his love for us is dependent on a range of things we think that his love for us is dependent on how good we are or on how much we love him but my friends this human logic today does not apply to God's love hallelujah God's love is not based on your performance today while we were yet sinners Christ died for us hallelujah Christ died for you for us he loved us while you hate him once you live a rebellious life yes my friends a life that is against the laws and commands of Jesus Christ he died for you my friends even while you were a sinner yes my friends sinners sinner sin is not so sinner since he are sinners while we were yet sinners Christ died for us hallelujah let's talk about this word sin this day my friends on just not just any sins let's talk about secret sins they are secret sins that secret sins do not have in your life yes my friends do you have a drug addict today or do you hide from anyone around you do you have a secret sin a scam people sin constant commit that you hate your you for your husband or wife to find out you have a secret sin that you will hate for the world to find out yes it's a secret let's move away from this secret sin today this Tuesday and go into the realm of public sins sins that other people know about we don't now we live in a culture that openly celebrates and encourage sinful behaviors and sinful lifestyle so you you may have live openly a sin and even live a life celebrates a sin my friends the Bible tells us that while we were yet sinners Christ died for you this is important this does not mean that Jesus Christ condones your sin today or endorse your sin no 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 he doesn't my friend but the fact remains today he still loves you when you were last when when you were the last night doing things you have no business doing Jesus Christ still loves you when you were going to places that you had no business going to Jesus Christ still loves you yes my friends when you were doing things that you should not be doing Jesus Christ still loves you love you and this is a message to restoration to someone allow me to talk about two of the many reasons this day my friends why some people run from God yes one number one group one this day my friends this Tuesday afternoon are believers because they are believers they are falling into sin and they have fallen into sin because they feel unworthy to approach God so they avoid God when they try to pray a voice says to them are you really praying to God after what you did yes my friends do you think you are worthy to even pray to pray to God today Group two, 
to my friends are unbelievers who never experience the new birth. Yes, my friends, and they are currently living in sin and they do not feel worthy of approaching Almighty God. These are two of the many reasons today why people avoid God Almighty. Allow me to address these two reasons today. Allow the prophet to address it. God has put provisions in this world for us when we sin. God allow me to deal with the first group of believers who are sin for we are fall under the category according to John 1st John chapter 1 verse 8 through 9 which clearly tells us if we say we have no sin we deceive ourselves and the truth is not in us yes my friends if we confess our sins <laughs> He is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Hallelujah. Praise God. We have the road map to get right with God. My friends, confess your sin. Confess to him and he will forgive you. God is not a man that is the first sin you made. He casts you into the very pits of hell. No, my friends, don't run from God. Run to him. Confess to him not anyone else confess confess it with with him today he is the one you need to be right with yes beloved and friends now allow me to deal with group group two they are they think of themselves i need to get my life right before coming to god or going back to god yes my friends you need to know that it is a lie from hell itself isaiah chapter 64 verses 6 clearly tells us but we but we are all on clean things we are all on clean things and all our righteousness are like filthy rags filthy rags and we all do fail as leaf our iniquity is like the wind wind have taken us away even on our holiest day yes my friends your righteousness is at filthy rags yes even on the days you believe you have followed every command in the bible your righteousness this is a filthy rag before the lord god almighty and you will never be worthy to approach god in your own righteousness yes my friends your own goodness comes as you are come to as you come to him today my friends even as you are struggling in that sin yes beloved if you are an alcoholic come if you are an adulterer come if you're a thief come if you are a scammer come if you're a liar come if you are a sexual immoral come come my friends as you are today and he will transform he will transform transform you and he will transform you he came my friends he came into he came to die for sinners jesus christ came for sinners hallelujah praise god luke chapter 19 verse 10 tells us for the son of man came to seek and to save the lost he came to seek and to save the lost this right here tells us why the son of man god came the son of god came the come to please he not come to please the righteous crowd the son of man did not come to please the pharisees or the sadducees the son of man did not come to save those who are already righteous in their own eyes but rather the son of man came yes my friend son of man came to save sinners he came to save sinners to, 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 to save lost and hopeless sinners look at the life of the lord jesus Christ in the Gospels Jesus seek those who are lost from men and women young old young and old the dead and the alive the blind and the powerful the forgotten ones yes my friends even those who were demon possessed and even if you look at your life today beloved and friends you can see how jesus found you heaven will not be full of baptists or pentecostals or charismatic or lutherans or non-denominational evangelicals or presbyterians or any other denominations heaven my friends heaven today will be full of old-fashioned sinners old-fashioned sinners say 
saved by the grace of God. Let's give him a big hand. Don't listen to those preachers who attempt to paint the picture that God wants to send you to hell. No, my friends, he doesn't. He loves you. He loves you. you his love does not condone your sin or means he approve of your sin or agrees with your sin. No, 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 my friends, nevertheless, he loves you. He loves you while you were a thief. Yes, he, that sin is that he nature of the love of God. Yes, my friends, John chapter 15, verses 13, the King James Version clearly tells us, greater love than no man that this, that the man may lay down his life for his friends. Hallelujah. This is my message for you today. Hallelujah. Jesus loves you. Yes, I am here to tell you right now, my friends, that Jesus, that Jesus loves you. You right. I don't know what you're going through today. Yes, you, you're right. I don't know what your situation looks like. Yes, beloved. Yes, you are right. You may have sinned horribly and you may feel like there is no way you can recover or there is no way God can forgive you. I am here to tell you today as a prophet, as a pastor, as a man of God, now that Jesus loves you while you were yet sinners, Christ died for us. No way in the scripture are we encouraged to get our lives in order first before we come to Christ. No, come to him. Come to him in the current situation that you are in and he will change you. He will transform. He will change your very nature. Yes, my friends, look, Jesus. Jesus is not waiting for you to be perfect today before he loves you. Jesus is not looking for a perfect person to show love. If people want you to get married, they will say they are looking for the perfect man or the perfect woman to love they that live together forever look my friends Jesus did not say this my friends he did not wait to look for perfect people before he showed love even when we never understand him when we don't even love him when we never accepted him Jesus my friends shows us his love this is what I'm here to tell you today. Let's give him a big hand. The road may be rough. The joy may be wrong, my friends. The weather may be harsh. The weather may be harsh. The storm may be coming directly at you like in America. The storms and the heat wave. I want you to know this is not the end of everything because the love of Jesus will always be there for you. Hallelujah. Jeremiah chapter 31 verses 3 tells us the Lord had appeared to all unto me saying hallelujah he says yea I have loved thee with an everlasting love uh, therefore beloved and friends family loved ones relatives with loving kindness uh, I have drawn thee again I will build thee and thou shalt be built uh, O virgin of Israel that shall that shall again be adored with the tablets uh, and thou shalt go forth uh, in the dances of them uh, that make uh, Mary Jesus Christ is calling you to come to him in Matthew chapter 11 verse 20. Come to me, come to me, all you are weary and heavy burden, and I will give you rest. He says, I will give you rest. Psalms 36 verse 7 tells us, now priceless is your unfailing lover. Oh God almighty, hallelujah, praise God. His love is unfailing today. His love is unfailing feeling my friends come to him all those who are weary and heavy laden cast your cares upon him today i know many are sick in the hospitals sick unto death many are in the homes in the bedroom lying on the bed waiting to die but my friends the man of god is back here this tuesday afternoon mm -hmm. to tell you yes that you will not die 
Monday, sorry, Monday, I get the mistake, Monday, Monday afternoon, that you will not die, you will live, you will live to fulfill purpose and calling and destiny because the hands of God is upon your life and God has not finished with you as yet in Jesus' precious and gracious and wonderful name. Yes, my friends, I said he was wounded for our transgressions, but I want to remind you, Jesus Christ took 39 stripes upon his back with a cat and nine tail for my sicknesses and your sicknesses. 39 stripes, his flesh and blood was ripped from his back and mingled on the floor. According to medical doctors, there are 39 major sicknesses and pain and disease in this world today. Yes, my friends and beloved, but Jesus Christ, I believe that he took a stripe for each one of those sicknesses. Let me go a bit further today. The God who created man out of dust and breathed into his nostrils the very breath of life and man became a living soul the God who knows every bone every marrow every joint every organ every tissue every part of your body just like the man who designed this watch he knows every part of his functioning he just like that God knows every part of you there is no big deal for him this Monday afternoon to give you a brand new organ a brand a new tissue, a brand new liver, a brand new lungs, a brand new heart, that shut down kidney that you have inside of you and you're waiting for a transplant. Some of you are too old to get, get the transplant, but I want to tell you, God going to touch you and renew those kidneys and renew your, those organs in your body today. Those of you who are suffering with cancer, stage 4 cancer right now, that cancer is pouring out your whole inside. But if you're feeling that cancer is eating out your whole inside but if you're feeling a burning in your stomach if you're feeling a burning right now that's the work of the holy spirit he's burning out that cancer in the name of jesus let's give him a big hand yes my friends god is the healer i am introducing you to the healing god i feel a tremendous anointing in this studio today i feel a tremendous anointing of the holy spirit those of you are blind today if you're blind you're deaf you're dumb you live today is your day for a miracle yes my friends god can perform that miracle he did it before if you're suffering with depression oppression frustration anxiety god gonna burn all those sicknesses and pain and set you free those of you are suffering with migraine headache and you're afraid you're gonna lose your job because of that migraine headache that migraine headache is leaving you right now it will not come back again in jesus name those of you are suffering with arthritis pain in your joints in your fingers your knees your elbows your toes that arthritis pain is leaving your body right now in the name of jesus those of you have diabetes your just skin and bone your blood is messed up god is touching your blood right now in jesus name he is healing you that that uh, that that that, that uh, blood is being healed yes my friends you've been healed from that sickness this morning in jesus name those who have a mental sickness you have a mental sickness a nervous breakdown god is touching your brains you have a brain damage god is touching your brains right now he's giving you brand new brains he's restoring sanity some mind and a strong and healthy body let's give him a big hand to the hallelujah see these miracles it's powerful it's powerful Yes, my friends, yes, those who are demon possessed today, I command those harassing demons, those tormenting demons to leave right now. I cast you to the pits of hell in the name of Jesus. I rebuke those demons, those harassing demons in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, you're free, remember, to accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and filled with God, the Holy Spirit today in Jesus' name. Yes, my friends, hallelujah, praise God. Those those of you listening to me from the USA, the UK, Canada, the Caribbean or any part of Europe, today is your day for a miracle, today is your day for healing, today is your day for deliverance, today is your day for salvation right now in the name of Jesus as I send for this anointing I know many are already healed but those who have little more faith you have less faith today, I'm going to send for this anointing wherever you are right now in the name of Jesus be healed in the name of Jesus be set free by the power of the Holy Spirit Spirit, 
I see many are healed, many are saved, many are delivered, many are set free by all manner of sicknesses and pain and disease and infirmities and evil and every work of darkness. Beloved and friends, it's the power of God. It's the work of the Holy Spirit. Yes, it's the work of the Holy Spirit. Many are healed today. Many are delivered. Many are set free today through the power of Almighty God. Let's give him a big hand today. Yes, yes, Today. Praise God, thank you, Jesus. And for those who are saved today, remember, my friends, we're heading towards a new world order, a one world government, yes, a one world religion, a one world currency. We're heading towards the reign and rule and reign of the Antichrist, where many will have to receive the mark of the beast 666. Many will not be able to buy or sell unless they receive the mark of the beast. But before this thing, hit the earth the restrainer is here that's God the Holy Spirit and that's why we paid for the rapture very soon the trumpet of the Lord will sound and the dead in Christ shall rise and those who are alive and remain shall be caught up to meet the Lord God in the air and so shall we ever be with the Lord because this is a sick and sinful world it's a corrupt world yes my friends and beloved hallelujah but this morning I have a few questions this afternoon in fact are you saved today? Is your name written in the Lamb's book of life? Have you repented of your sins? Jesus said in his words, he is not willing that any should perish, for all should come to repentance. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting eternal life. He says, come now and let us reason together, saith the Lord, though your sins be as it, it shall be white as snow though it be like crimson it shall be as wool today my friends God is uh, is setting people free my friends are you ready do you have an assurance that if you die today will you go to hell or heaven the devil wants to cut you off but God is giving you a next opportunity to change your dirty ways and repent from your teeth your theft and your sins and your lawless living my friends God loves everyone today but we must repent and accept the free gift of salvation. Self-righteousness will not take you to heaven. Good works will not take you to heaven. But only the blood of Jesus, the finished work on Calvary, can take you to heaven. Because the work has already finished. The price has already paid. All you need to do is salvation is a free gift. Accept that free gift today. And your name will be written in the Lamb's Book of Life. God bless you richly, beloved and friends. It has been a great joy and privilege to be here this Monday afternoon to minister the word of God. God bless you richly. I'll see you in the next session by the grace of God. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. I love you very much in Jesus' precious and gracious and wonderful name. Amen and amen. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God.